Hey, nice to see you. You look great. Way to go with the the, <laughs> the, the ears. Thank you. Thanks, Netflix. They sent them yesterday. Oh, okay. I got nothing. I would have them on too. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, you, you you deserve it. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how much of a dadager are you? What's a dad? Oh, like a, a manager dad? Yeah. Uh, boy, I, I guess I am a little bit. I do. I I tell them a lot. I tell them a lot of what they do, and you got to do this, blah blah blah. You want to get good at this? You get in there. Blah, blah. I do a lot of that, and and it literally does nothing. They just stare at me like, "What the hell are you talking about? I'll do whatever I want." <laughs> I have no uh, power, but I do say, I, I try to really dad them up a lot with getting good at things. It's just not really working. <laughs> well, I thought they did really good. They did good. They did that, but they don't listen to me when I when we would like rehearse and stuff. And I'd say, or maybe Bubba, that they would kind of be like, just relax, man. I got this. <laughs> they learn from the best. So yeah, they got it under I, control. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Uh, <laughs> you, have, you have kids also? Not yet. I, I'm not mature enough. <laughs> uh, my advice to you, you don't need it. Just keep going. <laughs> okay. I, I'll take care of it for you. I'll take care of this. Just move on. <laughs> Say less. I'll tell my mom. <laughs> <laughs> tell mom, yes. That's on me. QB in the film, I won't give too much away, but he has to find some bravery. So yeah. where do you go when you feel scared or uncomfortable Ooh. or need some bravery? My initial reaction is usually very scared. I get, I am, <laughs> I, my my first moment's usually like, whoa, what the hell's going on? And then I start feeling humiliated. And then I say, okay, this humiliation is going to last a long time if I don't do something right now. And then I try to work up the courage to do something to stand up for myself. And then hopefully by the time I get the courage, the person left already and I don't have to do it. So you just do nothing essentially, like internally you're having this fight. Yeah, exactly. Yes. I oh, know. It eats me up inside, but just I tend to do nothing. Let's let's keep that going. <laughs> What's the most rememberable um, Halloween prank or scare that you've ever had? In my house, it wasn't only Halloween, but there were four of us, four kids. Somebody always was hiding behind something and popped out and scared the hell. It was literally like an everyday thing. We would scare my mother, my grandmother. We. They actually would say, don't scare grandma anymore. That's going to end badly. So we, <laughs> I think we got her a few times. And then my father was like, hey, no good. But uh, uh, yeah, I, th I think uh, Halloween uh, or no Halloween, it was the jumping out of under a bed or from behind a corner. We, we like doing that stuff.